It's exactly a year since a massive earthquake and tsunami struck the northeast coast of Japan. Today, ceremonies have been held across the country to remember the 20,000 people who were killed. A minute's silence was observed at the moment the quake hit, 2.46 local time in the afternoon. Roland Burke sent this report from one of the worst affected areas. <laughs> In a monastery on Japan's northeast coast, a bell marked the precise moment the earthquake hit one year ago. And the country came to a standstill, remembering the missing and the dead. I couldn't even say goodbye to my brother, and it still hurts deeply. I wanted to save people, but I couldn't. I couldn't even help my father. Across devastated towns, the tsunami warning sirens sounded again today, and the bereaved stood with their heads bowed. The emperor led a memorial ceremony in Tokyo. The entire nation has been traumatised by the worst natural disaster in living memory. We are all gathered together in deep mourning to offer condolences to the deceased. No one who lived through that day can forget the panic and the fear. Entire neighbourhoods smashed, the rush to escape. Children, parents, grandparents swept away to their deaths. Today, the towns where so many lost their lives look like wastelands. Over the last year, a huge clear-up operation has been carried out along the coast. This place was full of wreckage, but now pretty much all of it has been removed. All you can see are the foundations of the buildings and the layout of the streets where people's homes and shops once stood. But even if the survivors want to return here, rebuilding hasn't even begun. In Fukushima, it's the radiation from the crippled nuclear plant that's preventing people from going home. Wearing protective suits, one group was allowed into the exclusion zone today and within a mile of the melted down reactors. Others found themselves drawn to the beach to throw flowers on the sea that stole the lives of so many. Calm today, a year after bringing such misery. Roland Burke, BBC News, Kesen Numa.